Mr. Comfrey, end of the season coming up. I just want to let you know that um, new contract. It's there if you want it. All right, cheers. Dominico Talioso, how are you? Uh, if you want a new contract, it's on the table next week if you want it. So just sign on the dotted line. Done. Lee, Lee. No, I'm, I'm saying your full name. I'm not, I'm not saying your first name. Lee, Lee. Yeah. No, no, I'm not calling you. I'm just saying Lee, Lee. Georgie boy. My, my starring man. How are you? Yeah, uh, you and Brett, are you with Brett at the moment? Yeah, you and Brett definitely want you to be part of my plans next season. So, although this is the end of the year, just know you're very welcome to stay next season. Please don't leave me. No, Lee, I, I want to... First name, that was. Oh, I'll ring you later. For God's sake. Yes, yes, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I'd love to Yeah, I'd love to be on for another year. No, no, 250 fans, fine. I, I'm pleased to take that wage cut. No, I'm not suffering at all. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's great. Okay, thank you. Lovely. All right, Joe, cheers, mate. All right, bye. What? No, no, I'm saying goodbye. I'm not saying... I'm not continuing the... All right, Joe. Yeah, fine. All right, goodbye. No, I'm not saying you're good. Leave it. Hello. Anyway, how are things? All right. It's Boss News. I was hoping we could talk about contracts. No, I don't think there's any contracts being decided on until... Till the end of the till the season's finished. So. Yeah, but I just want, I just want to work for you. All right. So. Love you. Bye. Okay. Happy bye. Valentine's Day. Well, I asked Jay. She said no. So. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hello, welcome back to the final episode of the season here with Thames FC and Mosley are coming up along with Phoenix Sports. Two games that I think we have we have all the potential in the world to win, um, but there's lots to talk about. Two games to go. We can only finish eighth. Now, admittedly, that makes this episode less interesting, but hopefully we can end the season well. And there's a little bit of news. Now, of course, if you saw the secret episode, you will know that we beat the Corinthian Casuals 2-0. We followed that up with another 2 0 win against Shipstead, then lost to Sitting Bourne, beat Hartley and, and Wintney. Wintney, that's strange. And then we beat Airways, uh, we lost to Cray 4 2. So disappointing overall. Two wins, two defeats since we last met. And um, there we are then. So two games to go today. And to say, we can't finish any higher or any lower than eighth position. And I I'd like to think, based on the past positions this season, we've made eighth position our own towards the end of the season. It's been a bit up and down. We started off, of course, very well in the early season. I thought we were going to drop and never really recover. But actually, what's happened is we've got into eighth position. And since match day, what is that, 33? We've stayed in that position and that's where we're going to stand to the end of the season so it's really take a look at the squad what do you think you can do with it and moving on from there as we go forward a uh, little injury update as well uh brett squires will miss today and probably miss the next game as well so he's not available shaquille edwards comes in instead and finally final bit of news if you watch that episode against the corinthian casuals uh, the secret episode uh, you will know we were offered a new contract and uh, so we're here for another year regardless of what happens right now so thank you very much managing finances is at uh, 1%. Not that you can see it on the bar there, but 1%. So, let's get into this first game and try and get a couple of wins to end the season well. And this really is a look at who can stay and who should go. And uh, hopefully a lot of these players will continue to play for me and not want too big of contracts as we move forward. But Emery will be in goal then. Campbell, Comfrey, Johnson, McAteer, O'Sullivan, Edwards, by Barker and Wright forward along with Taylor up there too. And do you know what? I think both games, six points, that's, that should be the aim. 80 points we can get. Let's go for it. 80 points. Easy as me just saying 80 points points we can get it of course we can get it i don't know if we can get it but we've developed this season we started off very defensively very strong very steady started to slip a little bit so we went more attacking and that seemed to work as well and we've sort of leveled out around eighth position which i thought is probably there or thereabouts where we we're going to get i was hoping for playoffs but we were never quite good enough uh, you need 80 plus points to get into the playoffs as well so next season of course that is the got promotion next year is an absolute must and i think we're building the team that is very close to getting it but here we go. Tem symmetric. It's off again. I'll let my assistant do the, the initial team talk to see if he gauges it well. Uh, we're going to give him the calm approach. No pressure today. There's li there's nothing to play for, but just go out and express yourselves. And I'm going to express myself by showing the uh, the, the, the stats in the league table because I'm, I'm feeling frisky. Uh, there's not much more to be decided. Actually, what did I say? All this Red Hill, Carshalton, and Chipstead are all, all vying for the playoff contention. Uh, the playoffs are very decided. The relegation stuff is already done. Thamesmead, local rivals going down, will lose that derby as well that would have i mean it it's gone it's gone it's gone i will say it's a couple of defeats in there a couple of defensive errors by emery ah oh, dearie me 
Right, can we get a foot on the ball here? So far, it's a bit up and down. As the ball's played through, and they're in. It's number nine, strike on goal. I say, is it a strike on goal? Can you can you really call that a strike on goal? Twenty five minutes gone, and uh, nothing's happening. McAteer's about to put injury. That's the biggest bit of news. Well, he did do. It's gone. Corner kick though. Lodge plays it in, and Emery with a good save. Very consistent this year. Most clean sheets in the league, might I add. And defensively, would have been very good. And I'm really sorry that I just hit you there. Apologies. Dominic Taylor is on a 6.2. I think even at this stage, it might be time to bring on Ed Grogan. Because, again, we've got not a lot to play for. Let's get some youngsters involved. And it can't be much worse than what we've just seen. Then again, we need to change up his role. Defensive forward on support. Here we go. We need our midfield to combine a little bit more. Of course, we've gone attacking. That was mainly because we had Brett Squires. It might be worth, actually, with this sort of system, going more defensive. Just just sitting back. That doesn't necessarily mean we're not trying to go forward. We're just trying to be nice and solid, and we can build from that base as the ball's launched forward. Second ball. We're all about it. Where is this uh, this pass going to go? We actually controlled it and played it right over the top. And they're in on goal. The number nine. He missed earlier on, but he doesn't miss this time. Fires it past Emre. And uh, there we are then. 1-0. To, to Molesy and they're loving it quite a lot of people in the stadium wow go defensive concede immediately at this point no one's playing well if there's to be a second goal I do fear it won't come our way but Grogan he finds himself through on goal Grogan's for his first goal for the club doesn't quite happen and our price pushes it behind I mean, we could bring Lee Leon we could bring Tavern on in the centre not too sure Barker, he's trying to forward. It's a right shot on goal. Price with another good save. I think for the next game, I might just play the kids. I might play everyone that's got a five-star potential, which is quite a few players, none of which are particularly good. But we might as well give them a game time, see if they progress. They'll probably enjoy the exposure to the first team as Subawali goes through. 2-0. Uh, should we all go home? Should we just go home? How far is it? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll Google it quickly. Uh, it's an hour and seven minutes. It's across London. So, I mean... Uh, on the tube, that could be even more of a nightmare. It says it's 26 miles. We've got to go via the A3, but it'll take over an hour. That's London traffic for you. All right, we'll stay then. We'll st we might as well hang around for a bit longer. There's, there's 40 seconds left. It doesn't look as if there's going to be any more goals. Grogan is very isolated. That is one problem with going defensive. You need your strikers to be good at the hold-up play business. And actually, he did a pretty good job there. What's that there? What was that? On the plus side, we are going to finish eighth. And I've already got my contract. So... There's a phrase in football that when a team knows they've got nothing to play for, they're on the beach. I've got a pina colada and I'm wearing a sombrero. That's how that's how excited I am about this. Right, game over. We've lost two 0 Um Phoenix Sports coming up, which I will say, Phoenix Sports sounds like a sports centre, doesn't it? Are you playing five aside tonight. Yeah, where are you playing? I don't know, Phoenix Sports. It it sounds like a like a sports centre. Right, folks, welcome back to the second game of the episode. I noticed here actually we've put some of the youngsters in. I did say we were going to do it, and I've decided yes, we will. John Clark comes in, then at centre back Aaron Sawyer at right back Wayne Preston on the left hand side comes in, and Lee Lee on that right hand side. We talk about a lot about Lee Lee. He's only seventeen, bless him. I will say actually, uh, John Clark two star current ability. It's actually coming on quite nicely. I don't know, John Clark might be the future of Thames. He's 17 years of age. He's been there for a couple of years. I didn't really notice him, to be honest, but he's got good determination. Heading, marking, tackling, not too bad for this division. And uh, his, his physical is not dreadful either. So I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, his jumping reach isn't great for 10 heading, so we'll work on that. But yeah, m might turn into something quite good. Doesn't really do passing. And uh, yeah, not, c composure's a concern for me. Six concentration for a defender, not good. Look, these kids get a chance to show what they're made of today. Final game of the season. And uh, we've booked some badminton. So we're playing Phoenix Phoenix Sports. Right then, we kick off. And uh, let's see how we do. We're at home, so we have to remove everything. We're finishing eighth, for anyone that was wondering. And uh, the match stats, they, well, you'll see them here in the centre. Right then, boys. We've got the kids out. Are the kids all right? That's the question. Now, Preston, he played a little bit for me uh, when we had that injury to Joe By. So I know he's capable. Sawyer at right back, not too bad. Lee Lee, we've seen a lot of, of course. And John Clark, number five in the centre. I guess we'll see how he does at centre back. Hopefully, well, as uh, O'Connor's playing as well today. Just changing it up, just giving people that don't play too much an opportunity to shine. Lee Lee plays the ball over towards Taylor. Doesn't quite get there, though. And uh, Probitz plays it back. Oh, Lee Lee, he pounces. If he can find. Oh, fuck, fuck, that's Lee. You can see, look, 80 points plus. You've got to get it if you're going to get any chance of promotion. As uh, Barker plays with Sullivan in. Back, back on it. Oh, he scored! Barker with a goal. Every time he scores, there's a little bit of shock that hits me. Uh, but a fabulous strike. It says 1-0. 11 minutes gone. Thames 1. Phoenix Sports 0. You can see here. We'll take a look at it again. Sawyer with a throw into Barker. Plays it into Sullivan. The slide tackle comes in. And the reaction from Barker is really good. Finishes it off as well. Lovely old job. I mean, Phoenix Sports. We'll, we'll look at them there. They're 21st. And they're definitely safe. So... I mean, they're on the beach as well. But have they got a pina colada and a sombrero? No, they don't. Whereas fictionally, I have. 
So, yeah. Throwing deep in a half, Clark and McAteer working together. Oh, Solomon forward to Preston. He's giving it away. And then Clark. Oh, it's not bad, actually. We'll get, we need to get rid of these match stats. They're in the way. Uh, if we can work this out from the back neatly and not make a hash of it, that'd be good. Emre. I mean, Taylor's not the biggest, but we launch it up towards him and he flicks it on to nobody. Now, they've got their own O'Sullivan. Leg it now. Puts it out to Taylor. I've got a feeling something funny's going to happen. That's not it. Right, through ball over the top. They're in on goal. And Emre with another good save. Decent. Of course, he's trying to be the number one clean sheeter in all of this. So, let's let's hopefully get that today and, uh, and concede Newt. Probert's to the edge. Potts. I think our defensive record is the third best in the league. So, that's not too bad. We don't score a great deal. In fact, it's in the top 10 there. We've... we've scored the least but defensively we're, we're one of the best and we, we need to focus on that i think if you can get your defense in order then you can work on striking ability i think we need we need a proper goal scorer like dominic taylor's good but i want someone who it's just weird i don't feel like i can rely on him there's the, there's trust issues between me and dominic taylor barker free kick oh it could have could have been a goal could have been say that for every event that ever occurs in football though couldn't you Right, can we work this out? If it goes up towards Taylor again. Edwards has got it. He's on a booking, so we might think about taking him off. I don't want to get someone sent off. And uh, Lee Lee into Barker, and he loses it, and it's just pinballing around. Barker back on it, into Lee Lee, and the ball inside isn't good, and they've got a free man, maybe. I don't think Clark's going to get him. He's throwing goal. Pardon, puts it wide, and it's still 1-0. I think Taverner for Edwards might be the switch. I'm going to make that move straight away, actually. I don't, I don't want a red card. I mean, O'Sullivan... He's on a booking, but I've got to keep him out there just because he's better than everyone else. As, uh, we've got a throw in. Barker, the goal scorer, on it. Can't let the, the kids are doing pretty well so far. The ball through, forward's not great. And uh, everything's going to reset. Lee Lee, right side. Is he going to take on his man and get a ball into the middle? He's, he's certainly going to try. I, I said he was going to try. I mean, I can't really stop looking at him. As the ball goes into the middle, that's a ridiculous way to concede a goal, in it? The way we've given the ball away there. I mean, three dimensions, please. I sound like I'm ordering it at a shot. Lee Lee there, like you can see. <laughs> Lily, he's gonna have a triple. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it again. <laughs> Just <run and stop. laughs> we concede from it. Oh my god, that's that, that, oh god, I don't know what to say. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> He just runs away. He's scared of the bloody ball. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. The clean sheet's gone. But, I mean, at least we've enjoyed ourselves there. That was amazing. We're going to take him off for that. I mean, look, he's on a 6.3. scared of the ball. Bring right on. Oh, my word. That was amazing. Ball played over the top. They could be in for the win here. Potts is on it. Shot on goal just wide. And it remains 1-1. One, one. I'm never, I'm never going to forget that moment when Lee Lee just runs away. Oh, dear. Barker brings it down into Taverner. Into Taylor for the win. Oh! Oh, I'll tell you, I say that. There's 15 minutes to go. But it's 2 1. Ten's back in the league. Take out your little sports all. It starts with a goal kick from Emery. And luckily, our players aren't as scared of the ball this time. Barker brings it down with the most ridiculous control. Someone have placed it in Taylor. The lower leagues are so fun. I love them. Because when, when like the good players in the Premier League are one, when they underperform, you're annoyed because you think you should never be messing this up. Right? But with the lower leagues, you, you're kind of. Knowing it's inevitable, right? Something funny is going to happen at some point. You just have to embrace it. As uh, we head it forward to Barker. Taylor out to right now. The substitute. If he's got a little bit of pace, can he beat his man? Goes out to Barker again. The ball forward's not good. I know Solomon's on it. Preston. We're working this not very well, but it's it's quite fun to watch. The ball over the top and Clark's beaten. Barnum, he's got a score, surely. Emre again. Love him. He's like he's, he's a brick wall back there. He, he absolutely loves it. It's a, it's a corner kick that won't come to anything, but at least we can, at least we know that now, you know? All right, we're in the lead. We're staying attacking. There's five minutes to go at the end of the season. We can't really move, but 77 points. It's about 20 points more, I think, than we got last season, which is pretty good. I think we were on 54 last year. Think about it. So there we are. Then that wraps things up. Thames 2, Phoenix Sports 1. And the highlight of the game is this Lee Lee running away from the ball. I've got, I've got to watch it again. Oh, I need to go back into the game to watch the incident. Oh, my God. And it's Lee on this right-hand side. He's going to take on his man here. And uh, Lee, T's ready. Got, oh, so I've got to go. Oh, oh, and they're forward. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And that wraps up what has been a pretty good season. Uh, obviously, there'll be payouts and stuff towards the end after the transfer. Oh, the transfer, sorry. After the playoffs have happened. Uh, but there we are then. Barker with a man of the match performance. He's coming into his own a little bit, actually. Superb in front of goal. And that brings us to the end. We'll take a look at a different custom view here. The Rangers view that I've got set up. And uh, we'll see who did what. Who was the best at what. Very quickly. So average rating wise, three players on a seven. Uh, Wayne Preston, weirdly, is there. Joe Bai is our top performer this season. 13 goals, 11 assists. 30 goals for Taylor. Do you know what I'm saying? 
going to need a goal scorer, maybe. I'm not so sure. We certainly need someone else bagging them, though. Joe Bayer and Taylor were the only two. And a lot of Joe Bayers, of course, coming um, after penalties and whatnot. Actually, I'll say all of this. You look there. Stephen Wright, nine goals for him. Leon Smith got six. Five for Sam Barker. Uh, top assist makers, of course, Joe Bayer. Stephen Wright's there as well. George Sullivan was seven. Interesting. Uh, I think he takes a lot of the corners. That might be why. Uh, key headers, one. I assume the bat line dominate this. Yeah, Bradley Confrey with a high amount. Uh, their key tackles, I imagine, is a similar story. Of course it is. Uh, assists for 90 minutes. Interesting. Christian Tavener with the highest. Is it Tavener? Tavener? Maybe, maybe Tavener. Uh, goals for 90 minutes. Dominic Taylor, really high on that one, actually. And Neil Smith, not too far behind. Uh, chance creation, very quickly. Take a look at this. John Clark, so far, one chance, one appearance. And uh, he set up a chance for us. And pass completion as well. My midfielders for me, not quite high enough. I want some 80% from my midfielders and hopefully we'll get that next year with the likes of Brett Squires with Georgia Sullivan. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Shots on target for those who are interested. And most appearances goes to Michael Emery. 52 games. Played every single game for me this season. Didn't play another goalkeeper because we didn't really have one and he wasn't relied upon. Stuart Hudson, I'm sorry, but I'm pleased. And that's going to bring us to the end then. An eighth place finish. I will see you next season and hopefully we get ourselves a win. And of course, transfers over the summer. What do you think we need? Let me know in the comment section. So we love with Okay, let's mention until next time. I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Michael Emery, most clean sheets. Yes. Defensively solid. And John Green, second on that list. Who, who would have thunk it? I've just had to edit the end of the Lee Lee situation. It's, it's the, my favourite moment in the series so far, I think. I'm just running away. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another one.